All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. I am the only member on the KUM news set right now who is not a superhero. And I mean that quite literally because we have two outstanding members of the island community. We have, of course, Officer Paul Tapal. Off a, today. a true hero, if ever there was one, just like G.I. Joe, real American hero. And we have Spider-Man. Off today, how you doing? Your friendly neighborhood, the mm -hmm. one and only. Yes, sir. I'm, uh, I came onto the island about a few days ago, like uh, five or six days ago. It's my first time here in Guam. And now we don't have, you know, like a lot of the skyscrapers like you're used to in New York. Right. You know, you swing from building right. to building. How have you like, you know, slinging your webs all over our jungle? Because we do have a lot of spiders anyway. Yeah, I've tried it and it just doesn't work the same here. I mean, uh, Holly, um, Hotel Row works pretty well because there's some, you know, buildings I can swing off of there. But for the most part, I just take... You know, the, the public transport, cabs, buses, stuff like that. Very cool. I well, get, away the, get around that way. Well, I'm sure you're a big hit with the kids because thousands of island children dress up as you every Halloween. That's what I hear. I hear. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty popular here. That's good to know. Yeah, I'm glad you, I'm you'd be pretty anonymous on, on October 31st, I would assume. Yes, yes. It, you don't even know who I am that day because <laughs> everyone's dressed up as me. Oh, very cool. <laughs> so, so, Officer Tapal, you guys are actually working in a partnership with Spider-Man and everything like that to go out to the kids and teach them about anti-bullying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we teamed up with uh, the Guam Crime Stoppers actually uh, teamed up and uh, the Guam Football Association had given me the opportunity to work with them to reach out to the island community, the island schools, to uh, present the anti-bullying campaign. Now, um, it, was, it, was a, it, was a, it was pretty successful because we touched many lives in, in relating about how we can eradicate bullying on Guam and what better way to do it than to have a superhero speak about to making better choices. Mm -hmm. Now, Spider-Man, your own story is, you know, you're someone who was kind of picked on by nature of the fact that, you know, I mean, we won't give away your secret identity, of course, but let's say you, you were pretty good at science and, you know, like you mm -hmm. liked to mingle with, you know, chemistry sets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I, Yes, you know. that is true. I had a little bit of an incident and I turned into what you see today. But before that, I was a normal kid, you know, and I did get picked on by a lot of bullies and uh, it affected me. And I know how it feels to be picked on bullies, so I, as Spider-Man, as a superhero I am, I want to spread the message of anti-bullying. So that's why I joined up with him to tour the schools and talk to the kids. Mm -hmm. And what is the major message that you're trying to like, tell to the kids, and how are they receiving it? The message that I'm trying to deliver to the kids is be a superhero and say no to bullying because we can all be our own superheroes i may be spider-man i may fight the big bad guys but those big bad guys used to be little bullies themselves and i can't stop them all i need everyone's help so if i can teach the kids how to stop the bullies in their tracks before they become the big bad guys my job's a lot easier and i tell you of all the schools i visited everyone seemed to really take the message in and understand what i was trying to say and uh they, re they, they responded to it very well. Mm -hmm. Now you, of course, you have spider sense, so you can sense when danger is coming. I can. Uh, you know, your strength is like 800 times that of normal yes, human beings. And you know, you've got all these cool weaponry. But the most powerful power, most powerful power, if that makes any sense, mm -hmm. that kids can have and everything is to actually step away and say no. Mm -hmm. And that shows true bravery from within. Absolutely. Um, you know, Spider-Man has his webs. I sling webs. Superman can fly. The Hulk has great strength. but the greatest power in the world is the power of the human mind and what you can accomplish with it. And, you know, you can be the biggest guy in the world, but if you don't have street smarts to handle certain situations, you know, that's not good. You need to learn how to use your mind to talk your way out of things first before it resorts to violence. So that's what I'm trying to teach kids is how to talk to and how to handle certain situations. Mm -hmm. Well, how have you liked the island so far? Wow. I've been all over the world. Um, I've been to Hong Kong, Singapore, Indonesia, America, Canada, and uh, I... First, when I first stepped on, onto the island, I fell in love with it. It's beautiful. Uh, the hospitality of everyone is amazing. I've had so much food, delicious food since I've been here. And uh, the, the scenery is amazing. And I, I really like the people here. It's probably my favorite place now to ever go. All right. Well, we do appreciate that. And we are going to make sure you are well fed that when you like, go from building to building, you're probably going to pull the building down. I think <laughs> I've gained 10 pounds in the last three days. Well, then we know we've done our job. Yes. Hey, thank you so much. Thank Great you very much. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank you for having us. Thank you, Guam, again, the kids, for making it happen. Um, you know, we, we, we didn't touch bases and everything, but we want to thank the Guam Football Association for making this possible and to all our fine sponsors to include KOM. Thank you so much for making it happen for the kids. All right. It's always good to have two real-life superheroes in the studio. This guy, he's a real superhero to me. <laughs> yeah. Both of you do amazing work in the community every day, so we thank you. Thank you very much. And we thank you for watching, and stay tuned because we have got much more when we return.